to the many years of apartheid, the situation in South Africa differs from other countries when it comes to the history of trade union political cooperation. Black people were discriminated against both because of the color of their skin and because they were workers. You will recall that South Africa images from the past of apartheid, which meant that workers uh, were discriminated largely. The legacy of apartheid is still very much alive. The inequalities, poverty, unemployment, largely amongst black working class and mostly women. The ANC emerges from a history of a, a liberation alliance. Uh, it was leading an alliance, or it's leading an alliance comprised of the South African Communist Party and the Congress of South African Trade Union, that is ourselves. There is a close relationship between the ANC and the trade union movement. They have shared many struggles throughout the years in their efforts to change the system of apartheid into a democratic system. If you go to other countries, trade unions are more of an independent entity, looking at the conditions of work, salaries and everything else, you know. But the situation in South Africa is such that you cannot separate your, your trade union activism from your community activism. Many decisions that influence workers' lives are made at political levels and cannot be settled in negotiations between employers and employees. Thus, it is important for trade unions to try and influence political parties to make decisions that are good for their members. There are instances where we work very well. There are instances where there are challenges and difficulties. But primarily, what I have, or fundamentally, we can be able to affirm that the ANC does cooperate with us because we have regular alliance secretariat meetings, we have regular uh, alliance summits, and we have regular sharing of ideas, even in areas of discomfort. Uh, we may disagree or agree, but we do talk. There are benefits for the trade unions to work closely with the ANC, but as everywhere else around the world, the roles of the party and the trade union are different and when issues are being discussed, they don't always agree. The importance of the cooperation with the ANC is that uh, it allows us to be able to leverage on public policy discourse, to influence and uh, to influence significantly areas of public policy, the transformation agenda, as well as to exercise some level of monitoring and evaluation consistently about what has been done, what are the setbacks, and what are the threats and opportunities arising from the engagement. Generally, we, we, those are the benefits of, a, of, a, of the relationship of working closely with the ANC. But also it has got its own dangers that sometimes we may develop complacency and assume that things will be as easy. Uh, and those dangers do arise in the course of the discussion and in the context of a vibrant engagement. I must fight for my rights as a worker. As much as I am a member of the ANC, but I'm a worker on the other hand, and I have got, I've got needs. And, and, and that must be at addressed by the employer. If the ANC in the form of government is the employer and is not delivering, it means at a certain stage there will be confrontation. In the struggle for a better South Africa, the party and the union complement each other. There is continued value in the association or with the alliance partners because we complement each other in many ways. So in general, we look at the alliance as an ongoing organism that continuously is being shaped by the changing condition and the necessary leverage. So long as the agenda for the, con for the continued transformation of our society, the prosecution of the national democratic revolution, and the continuing inequalities, poverty, and uh, unemployment at the scale uh, we still see. And the persisting legacy of apartheid, certainly the alliance still has a case to exist. Mm -hmm.